Logan, am I missing something? Do I? I feel like I'm not understanding You're not something. Under I'm going to paint out a picture. It's just a way that people are. Um, and I feel like I'm missing... I'm missing that. I don't understand why they are the way they are. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you a scenario, right? Yes. You get uh, your... Oh, man, I need a good scenario. Okay, you're amongst mm, sort of friends, but kind of like acquaintances, right? You're you're kind of in a party setting. You don't okay. know everyone there. You know right. some people, right? Right, and okay. That's why you're at this party. Somehow, in some way, a uh, topic comes up. It could, it could be anything, just a polarizing topic. Someone throws out a bait sentence and someone engages with that bait sentence. And then you have this full-blown argument. It could be like... Is cheese yellow or is it white? You know, or is it orange? I mean, yeah, just something like that. And one of the people starts turning super not mean, but just like uh they don't they start adding things to the conversation that are more attacking the other person for no reason. So it's like, oh, but you, I guess you just must be colorblind. And that has nothing to do with the cheese argument it just is attacking the other person um and then it just and by the end of it nothing happens and the person that's being mean is just kind of like being mean for the sake of being mean and there is no other reason for it and um... i guess another way that i can paint this picture is in a game in a, in a video game okay if especially pvp um, um, give me, give me some know, more. Someone... Give me some more. I'm, I'm, my brain's okay. cooking. My brain's cooking with all this information. Uh, you're on Elite Smash. Heaven forbid you go to that hell state. <laughs> I've um, actually been there pretty recently. So. <laughs> I haven't been there in a long time, and I'm so much healthier for it. Honestly, either way, okay. Hey, good so on you, man. You, you good find... on you. <laughs> good on you. You find uh. <laughs> Dude, uh, Ness, you know, yeah, a Ness and they player. only play a very specific okay, way. Wait, wait, let's, we let's, all know anyone because hold on, hold on. So, just just because I've been on Elite Smash recently, and dude, it's so I for for, for this reference, let's use K rule because I feel like that's the one that like bothers me the most. I mean, there's also okay. Stamus, but let's we know we know how every K rule plays, dude. We just know, sure. okay. Let's let's use K rule. Yeah, for, for, my own for brain. any existing Smash Brothers person, um, King K rule in that game as a, in a fighting game is uh, really campy. It's like armored camping. But he's but he's not. It, it's sense. just how they play online. That's what I don't like about it. It's like how can every single K rule play the exact same way online? Like there's some sure. really well, really okay. cool K rule players, and I like. I've played K. Rule offline, and he's really cool. He has a lot of really cool moves, but like the online K. Rules, man, that is just, I just don't understand. I don't understand. Well, it, it so I think That's why I do of, it because it freaking works. Okay, sorry, I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself. I, well, yeah, we can cover that at another time. You you're very passionate about this. I can tell. Oh my gosh. I, um. So the effect I'm trying to get is you're fighting a K rule, right? And you're gearing up and they inevitably beat you in the same way that every single K rule does. And they take one stock and they run around and they teabag and they they you know whatever way they can to taunt, they do it all for no other reason than to just get a reaction, you know, to the style on you. Even though whatever they did to the to the general populace, mostly everyone, everyone can can equally agree that playing that way is not fun to watch. It's not fun for anyone but that person. This is where I'm starting mm, to get into okay. what I like to call the troll effect. So I played. Uh, here's a final example, and then I just kind of want to get into our thoughts about this. I was playing um, Hell Divers Two uh last night actually mm, okay. and in, in that game you get in squads of four i can talk about helldivers too like all day so uh we're 
we'll have to kind of nip that in the bud and talk about it for we could honestly do a whole episode on it but anyway that game is played it's a pve co-op game yes that, that's what it's built for there is right. no pvp in it and yet i still jumped on with i jump on with squads of four and these are random people i've never met these people in my life and they're wonderful people some of them are like super uplifting and they're like you're doing great man for liberty for justice for space battles like yeah brother in arms right and then there's just this one guy that he he's actively making the game a terrible experience for everyone around them um and he's he's like testing people out and he's not doing any objectives he sh- there is friendly fire in that game so he's shooting at me and i die and i kind of type in the chat at some point I'm like dude why are you here why are you playing this i like i physically don't seem to understand what drives you to make this decision to play this way um and at the very end of the game of the match we're all trying to evacuate off the planet and he shoots us all and he gets in the ship by himself oh so my only gosh. he gets the biggest reward and uh it's this actually this quick story has a good ending but it's like i've told you before many times that i've met people that are just outright just kind of mean right. mean uh-huh. and toxic to the people around them yeah. for absolutely no other reason uh, like he never gave me an answer the only answer i got is you should get better or you should do this or i don't have to answer you and i never get a straight answer when i ask this question why do what like i i almost want to ask you this i know you're not but like no. i pose the question theoretically why do you troll what? Why would you want to troll? Uh, let me finish the Helldivers sure, story first. Sure, for yeah. So this guy trolls, and it just leaves a horrible taste in my mouth. I'm like, and I don't understand why this guy would choose to do that. This game, I've met no one but good people in this game. And here comes this guy to just, like, ruin the experience. And I type in the chat, I don't understand those kind of people. And then the other two guys in the squad... In, they get on voice chat and they're like dude me neither you want to play another one and Ooh, all three snap. of us just jump into another match oh, snap, like, dude. Just, bonding over it, the toxicity bro let's go seriously <laughs> I, and i i don't think i've ever seen those players again but it was it was an interesting thing to see in hell divers too how many people are good people and it really painted a very big spotlight on this one toxic guy because there are toxic fan bases are toxic player bases they are toxic all over the place right but somehow seeing so much support for each other in that community just shined this beacon on this one toxic guy and it got me thinking about what i consider the troll effect or when you're in an argument someone shuts it down simply by being a douchebag or something like that yeah and then um... somehow that takes all of the perspective and nuance of the conversation away and you're unable to have a rational experience with this person any longer right because they've shut it down just for the sake of like causing chaos i guess anyway i want to open up the floor to you because i've been talking a lot you just you're just interested in why people are like this that's because i think I, i i can tell you it's not it's not a very clear cut answer um but yeah, in my understanding, you're right. Like, you just want to know why they do this I kind mean, of stuff. Yeah. Well, it's it's just intriguing. I wish that there were more places like Hell Divers Two. Okay. Where so, my experience mostly is not troll e. And why I bring this up, not just in the sense of games, is this does exist in real life, where people will come into my workplace, my escape room workplace. And they'll just troll everyone. They won't do any puzzles. They'll complain. They'll whine. They'll be super toxic. And they'll try and break stuff. And when I tell them to not, to you know, follow the rules, don't break stuff or else you're going to buy it. Right. They turn me off on the camera or they oh, swear. Man. They, they it's... make some kind of crude. Joke. It's a troll. It, it's what we understand is a troll. And I just, it's so hard for me to grasp 
not only why that is, or why we have so many spaces that don't actively fight something like that. Right. Um, cause so I guess the, the second question after why do people troll would be like, like what kind of pulls them in? Like certain places have more trolls than others. Cause you're, you're describing hell divers as like, it has a very good community. Whereas if you were to go to like league of legends, there'd be a lot more trolls Ugh. or, you know, or uh, people that are in that camp of like, just trying to ruin other people's day or there's a lot of hatred and stuff being spread. So I, I, yes, I understand your questions. Um, and it's, it's way more complicated than just, you know, they like it or they don't like it or they're just jerks, you know, like it's way more complicated because it's, it's about human psychology, you know, which I think I, I can, I can get into my thoughts. I, you know, I can't a hundred percent be like, this is why this happens, but I have, I have some good ideas of why this kind of stuff happens. Um, oh, yeah. So give, give me your theories. Give, there, me, your, there's give multi- me your take on it. Yeah. There's multiple reasons why someone would troll, and there's different levels to it. Because um, there's, there's, uh, there's a couple different kinds of trolls, right? So there's, there's the ones that are, like, funny, you know? Like, I'm going to troll to be funny. And I, that line can get really blurry, right? Because sometimes it's funny for only a few people. Sometimes it's only funny for them. You know, uh, sometimes it can be funny for everybody if they do it right. You know, the difference between being like a class clown and being a bully is kind of like what I'm talking about. Right. Um, yeah, that's interesting. You know, um, like it can, it, there's, it, it, there's a, it's a spectrum, right. And you can, the closer you get the bully, like the more toxic it is. Um, I would say. So for instance, in gaming, uh, someone could troll in Minecraft in so many different ways. So if you use Minecraft as an example, you could troll by filling someone's house with chicken. That's funny. That's funny troll, right? Or you could troll someone's house by changing the way it looks. That's a little less funny, right? Because a lot of people don't like it when you mess with the way their house looks. And then there's like the third type of troll, which is I'm going to blow up their house, right? And that's that's the bad kind of troll. That's like the, the bully, right? Um, and if, if, we go, if we go into why people do this, it, it, there's so many different ways. But I would say it goes back to, uh, like, why do bullies exist in school? Because um, I feel like that's something people uh. understand more and more these days. Um, and it's usually because either they were taught that way or they were, they were raised in a household where they were abused. So they abuse others because that's just what they know. or you know, hurt people, hurt people. So like if they have all of this hatred and toxicity that they've been taking in from their surroundings, then they release it on those around them when they're at school kind of a thing. So I feel like a lot in a lot of situations, gaming is like that where it's like, you know, uh, maybe, maybe the parents yelled at them and they got called names at school. And so they go home and they hop on Fortnite and they're just like, being a complete jerk to their friends because they like want people to feel the way they felt or they, you know, all that negativity, it just gets taken out. You know, like the, the whole example of like my boss yelled at me. So then I went home and yelled at my kids and then my kids went to school and yelled at their friends, you know, and it's just like the cycle of hatred kind of stuff. Um, yeah. I feel like it kind of feeds into that. Um, so it makes me wonder if that guy in Hell Divers, for instance, maybe he had an older brother who he played games with and he was treated that way by his brother. Um, Ugh, I, man, that's such a tragic thought, but like, that's how it is. You know, people don't just, they're the truth is people aren't just born that way. People aren't born to hurt other people's feelings. Um, so when, when it happens, it's coming from somewhere, right? Some past experience has shaped them to be this way. Um, most of the time, you know, I, I, I can't, I, there's always exceptions. Um, but I would say for most people, if, if they're like cussing people out, it, that's not something that they, they came up with, you know, they, they got it from somewhere. Um, so, but I mean, it, it, could, it could be YouTube or movies. Like, like those are also teaching tools as well. Like, uh, you know, I can't, I can't go an episode without mentioning one piece, but I, I genuinely think that growing up on one piece has shaped me in a lot of ways and in a lot of good ways, because that show is very much catered towards 
you know, what it means to be a true friend and like reasons to live and just so like so much about life and like what life's about and how you should treat people and how to, how to respect others and stuff. Um, like I learned all of that from watching one piece and I, I guess some other shows by proxy, but, um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't, I can't speak for everybody, but it, it is interesting. And I, I'll, this is uh, the last thing I'll say before I, I get your thoughts on everything. But, um, I do have friends who are, I would say, trolls, but they're not the tr they're not the trolls that hurt people's feelings. Um, at least not most of the time. I, I do have a friend who uh, really enjoys. I think back in the day, he would play Battlefield Four, and he really enjoyed. Like, he has a bad habit of enjoying team killing, uh, but he doesn't. He doesn't do it to ruin other people's day necessarily. Like, he's not like trying to like hurt people's feelings it's weird bro i because like it, it, if you look at his perspective i don't think he sees it that way it's like it's funny right like oh we're i'm gonna like this guy's gonna be driving his car and then i'm gonna detonate my c4 and he, now he's flying through the sky and he's not expecting it you know kind of like a prank um which i guess pranks can be sure. like, prank, but I, I, you know it's definitely a troll mindset but it can very quickly turn into like you ruined this guy's day or like, you know what I mean? It can definitely feed into that cycle of hatred, even though I don't think it's coming from a place of hatred from himself. That's the weird, that's what's interesting to me is it's not like he's right. doing it because he was hurt and he's trying to take it out on someone else. He, he doesn't want someone to feel what it's like to get blown up in a car because he was blown up and he's upset about it. It's literally just like, he thinks it's funny and that's why he does it. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's interesting. That is that is interesting to me, and I do think that in an environment where everybody wants to troll, that would be acceptable. But it, the problem is when you start mixing the trolls with the serious people that want to like role play or they want to be serious. Because like, imagine like if you're playing D and D, which I mean, okay, this this kind of goes to what you're saying about uh, the escape rooms uh, that you run, where there's the people who want to take it seriously, and then there's the people who kind of want to. They want to pick at it and goof around and kind of like poke at the holes and, and see, see how far they can take it, you know, um, yeah. which that I honestly, when, when I do escape rooms, I kind of like to test the limits like that. Um, but I'm not doing it and I don't like to, I'm not necessarily trying to be disrespectful. Um, especially if the rest of my team was like, I don't know. See, it, it, it's a weird fine line because I wouldn't do it if it like truly like upset people. But uh, I do think it's fun to kind of like, especially in a role play setting, like kind of test the limits. Um, yeah, so, I, I definitely have thoughts about a lot of these things that you're saying. Yeah. So I don't because for my own personal sake, I don't know why I like to poke and pry when it comes to those things. I mean, I I like to again, I like to kind of like test the limits of stuff um like when i play games i do like to try and break the game not in a pvp or pve setting like in a uh like if i'm if i were to play like a new platformer uh sometimes i i would like to see if i can like glitch my way up a mountain or go through this wall because it looks like it's very sketchy like i like to try to break games in that way kind of trying to find bugs um so i think it's that kind of mindset but again it's very innocent um whereas i feel like the other side of the coin is when people are actually trying to upset people for their own stick enjoyment or because they want other people to feel the, the way they feel, which is a very normal thing. I think for humans, it's not a good thing, but it's very common eye for an eye, you know, hmm. anyways, yeah. I, I'm going to, I'm going to stop talking for a minute so I can hear what you have to say. Yeah. I I've actually been taking notes of what you said. So oh, I, cause I have, <laughs> Like thoughts for all these. Well, just because you, you opened up a lot of thoughts there, and I want to be able to. You did too. You you gave a lot of examples. Yeah. I was like, dang, I have a lot to say about this. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, so that's why I was so passionate about this troll effect because I do have a lot of thoughts. Um, I know our train's coming up, but I I have things to say. This is important. <laughs> right, to me, I, at least. We'll hold the train I, up. Been, I'll leave. I'll hold the door open we'll for hold you. The Thank you. <laughs> Let's be talking here to wait for the door. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I, as we were talking, as you were talking about different like reasons why people troll and stuff, a whole bunch of different things either I've seen on like TikTok reels or 
uh, like YouTube shorts mostly is what I watch, or situations I've encountered in the past, totally uh, encapsulate a lot of what you just said. So um, when you're talking about your friend who like blows people up in, in Battlefield, or it's like the Fortnite guy that camps to the very end and doesn't, and then gets one measly kill and then teabags and wins. Granted, I think that's a different sort of... I might have just opened up a different can of worms there because there's something to be said as, like, is campy gameplay inherently trolly? I don't necessarily mm. think so. Uh, that, but... Yeah, that's that's a different... I, I would say no overall. I, th- I think it can be, but... I think it can be, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Yeah, it's not, what it's I not was inherently. About to... What I was going to say is when... You're well, I don't really want to speak just for your friend, but like when someone when you when you as a player in in an online game go and blow someone else up and and you're laughing and watching their body flying and stuff, well, you don't know how long it took them to get that car. You don't know how long they've been trying to play. You don't know how their day has been. It just seems to be this is really big lack of consideration on on their part. Which is not necessarily your job to be completely considerate of everyone around you. You're right. But I think that it, some consideration goes a long way. Um, well, at least in those kinds of circumstances. Unless the game yeah. promotes it. You know? Well, okay, so, so this... Sorry, not to cut you off, but like, I think the reason behind this is because it's, it's not real people. And, you know... I think me and you, we're very empathetic. We like to empathize with people and we like to put ourselves in other people's shoes, um, which is probably one of the reasons why we like stories so much. But I, I like sometimes uh, other people don't do that because you might be like, oh, this guy's really selfish. But like being selfish isn't like, I don't know, because there's like you can choose to be selfish and there's like the naive selfishness where it's like they're just they're literally just unaware. <laughs> They're unaware of what they're doing. Like they just don't think about other people the same way we do. Uh, and maybe they can learn mm. how. Maybe me, but because it's an online experience, because they're in that environment where everyone's anonymous, they they blow someone up, and tomorrow, to, and the, the, for the rest of their life, they're never going to interact with that person again. It's a one and done. Yeah, you know, it makes it well, so easy to troll people and not feel bad, which is why. Like, if you go on YouTube, it's like people are so toxic on, and not just YouTube, anywhere on the internet, right? People can be so toxic because they're anonymous. And it's like, you wouldn't actually say that to my face. You wouldn't actually do that if we were playing side by side on the couch. But because there's that anonymity and we're never going to see or interact ever again, like, I feel like it enables people to get away with that kind of behavior. Is what I'm trying to say. Like, because I, I, I was kind of explaining why people do it, but the reason why I don't think it's it, it's just gotten worse is because people aren't being punished or shown the effect of what's happening. Like, if if they if they blew someone up and they actually saw how it emotionally affected that guy on the other side of the screen, they probably wouldn't do it anymore, right? But they don't get to see that, so to them, there is no punishment, right? Whereas someone on like you're that person on the other end explaining your side of the story and it really makes me be like this is why i don't do that kind of stuff when i play games you know i would only do that if i was in if i was playing with like three or four friends that i know very well and i knew that like we could just laugh it laugh it off right like if it was if the vibe was right right. but i wouldn't do that to randos online you know so anyways Mm. sorry i just wanted to throw that well you're good that's a good point you bring up Especially, uh, I'm interested because I agree with what you're saying. Um, with that anim- an, uh, anonymity, animosity, uh, <laughs> anonymity, ambiguity, an- I don't know, anonymity, anonymous, being anonymous, anonymousness, yeah, whatever that is. Um, I did watch a reel that, that brings to mind a reel. I don't necessarily know if they're real or uh, like actual events or not, but uh, there was a YouTube short I watched of two dudes at walmart and they're like taking pictures of everyone else in walmart and they're 
they're being super loud and disrespectful and they're teasing people for what they're grabbing off the shelves and they're being very disruptive. And it does make some people really mad, mm -hmm. like really mad because yeah. they don't want to be filmed. They don't want to be teased. They're just struck the honestly, the supermarket vibe is already kind of awkward enough. You don't need to make it worse, right? You know, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. these these dudes are honestly these they I these punks to me. When I saw them, <laughs> I'm like, you guys are a punk, uh, not not the good kind, you know. And right, right. one of them walks up and smacks the camera out of out of the dude's hand, and and kind of pushes one of the other ones out of the way, which technically is harassment and or assault, but. It, I don't know. It's kind of like you poke the bear enough, is the bear gonna poke back in much harder? But these guys, they start flopping on the floor and making a big deal out of it. Oh, you harassed me, you hurt me, this, this, and they they make this big deal out of it for like more views and for a joke. Right. And they're and then when someone tries to, when security comes along, they're like, This guy hit me, this guy's doing this, and the security's like yeah, but you you've been harassing people for like half an hour now. Right. What do you what do you expect? <laughs> right. and I'm gonna take you out. And they're just kind of like, no, dude, it's a joke. I don't get why no one gets it. This is another thing that bothers me greatly, is when someone does something super harassing like that, and they they put their hands up and they're like, No, it it's just a joke, dude. You you should laugh you need to learn to get a sense of humor and all that. that I mean like Bro. grinds my gears deeply it makes me so frustrated and maybe that's the point maybe it is just a continuous troll bait but that's exactly what i'm talking about is this is a real life situation of people just kind of acting like a troll and yes and very very selfish and unempathetic it's kind of like the vibe i get from these people that you're describing because it's either that or they're just deeply insecure or have experiences that like have built up negativity that they involuntarily kind of take out but so it's like you're the one or the other which it's the, it's the people you just described the people that are like they they just seem to like they don't seem to relate with anybody they they're just doing it for them they don't care about how the other person feels right in fact th like they use that as a tool right they're like oh you feel you oh you're mad you know, and yeah, like, they, 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 they weaponize use that. it. Yeah, it, which is it's it's so interesting why because like I I want I just wonder how they how they perceive the world and how they perceive other people. Like, do they like do, 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 do they have main, do, do they have main character syndrome? Such a deep level. Yeah, I feel like, that like I want to take I want to take this guy, and here's my my conundrum. This is why I'm like, hey, dude, am I missing something? The I going back to the question I posed originally kind of going full circle with it is I want to take someone like this and just sit them down and be like, what, what and why, why do you do this? And what do you get out of it? Right. Really, and truly. I, what do you do? And I bet, I bet here's the thing is I bet if I did do that nine times out of 10, they would respond the same way that they always respond, which is, uh, dude, you just gotta learn how to take a joke, bro. It's not my fault. It's, well, and, and, and they and, either deflect it or they be more, they cause more of a scene to then somehow deflect the critical thinking and the actual rational conversation I'm trying to have. Well, I, I will say this because I, I would love to see how they were raised because I feel like a lot of people who say that, again, when they were raised, they, there was probably a moment in their life where their friends or their older siblings or their parents said the same thing to them. Um, where you know, uh, man, some, yeah, you're some probably people, right. Some people are sensitive, or like not sensitive. Some people are more sensitive than others to certain things. Um, so you know, like if you go to California, people wearing bikinis all the time and saying you know the f word and whatever else, probably a lot more normalized. And I, I'm not speaking for everybody, uh, like and when it comes to LA, but I'm just like, yeah, cultures are different depending on where you go. Um, so. And it just makes you makes you wonder, like that maybe that guy's friend circle for his whole life has been that way. They're all very trolly and memey in a very like kind of toxic way, at least from our perspective. Like not very 
considerate of other people, but that's just the the world they grew up in. So it's like it is okay to them. Like they don't see anything wrong with it because that's how it's always been for them. You know, like I don't know that that's where I am. Like that has to be it, right? Because if it's not, then it's like I don't know what the heck they're smoking. I don't know how you can be so inconsiderate. Like maybe maybe their values are just skewed. Where it's like I think fame and money and women are above other people's feelings above uh, like if i hurt somebody but it gets me views that is worth it because to me views are better than someone else's feelings because they can just you know you know cry about it and be okay in a week you know like i don't know how they see things i don't know i don't agree with it though just to be clear i'm very much on your side where I, i am almost too considerate sometimes to my own detriment where i i like to think about like how things will affect the people around me um which in a lot of ways i, I feel like i overtune so i'm like the opposite of a troll i feel like um even well, though I, so, I do like to be a smart aleck and i do like to be sarcastic but only in safe settings i don't i don't really do that when i don't know somebody because i don't want to offend them so you i do want to address the last thing i kind of wanted to address and then i have one more thing and then we can yeah, uh, catch a train. Yeah. I know we've been standing at this doorway for a good. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been holding it open for uh, for a little bit. Hold now. on, just a bit longer. Uh, so I think that being playful and teasing is not necessarily trolling, especially when you do it in a considerate way. Like what you said about pushing the boundaries of what you what the escape room can do. I know any third person game I pick up, any third person game that I pick up, I immediately walk my character in a circle to see what it looks like. Like, just walk them as fast as they can in one circle. Mm-hmm. And just to just to see just to see how funny it looks or how weird it looks, I make my characters walk weird. I make them jump weird. Like, I do whatever I can to, like you said, just kind of poke fun at it and see what, see what kind of humor that I can organically gain out of it. It's as soon as that comes at the detriment of someone else, I think is starting to be where it gets into goes from kind of just teasing to then like trolling yeah like if someone in the escape room went to the if they went far enough to where uh the other people that they were with in the room were no longer having fun like that's that's because you paid money for it and like you know what i mean it's like at that point you've gone too far you know um right and i don't even know how you feel on your end because you're you're the one running the room so i don't know how Dude, it, it bugs the crap out of me. <laughs> I I don't understand it personally, only because I see that, and I'm like, you paid 130 You paid a lot of money, $130 for four people to do our escape rooms, uh, local place. Right. You paid $130 to be an idiot? Right. Like, I, you could do that for free anywhere else but here. But right. you're you paid to do this. Like, I don't know. It's a, anyway, that's a whole nother topic. Here's something that I want to I genuinely want to try. If you're listening to the well, actually it I you would have to also kind of be on board with this, I guess, because it would be kind yeah, of a yeah. commandeering thing. And I don't even know if it would do any good. If you're listening to this and you either are like do feel like you're a troll or you have things that you want to contest what we're saying because we have our thoughts on it. I genuinely want to see if someone in our audience or is listening to this is willing to kind of challenge what we've said. Yeah, I I'm because very I am interested. so open to to having as much of a rational dialogue as we could, and I want to like the, basically this is the invitation. My arms are completely open. I want to have a dialogue with a quote unquote a troll, whether you call yourself one or not. If you do these things and are interested in talking with us, I want to have as much of a rational conversation with you about it as possible. Yeah, tell us, tell us what you like what happened, you know, because uh, like were you always a troll or did something happen that made you one or like did any of what we said resonate? Because you know, I feel like my theories are pretty on point for most people, but I don't know, dude. I'm inclined to agree. People are crazy. Like, you know, this can totally, 
piss someone off. Like we could probably make someone super bad with this well, video. I don't. But I don't really I, think I, so. I. I don't think I'm because I want to be very clear. I. I know that these these people exist, and like they're not my favorite people to be around because they they tend to take away from other people's experiences for their own pleasure. At least from the defin the definition of troll we've established. Um, but I do want to say that like. I empathize with these people because like I said, I don't think people, I don't think most of them choose to be this way. I think it's just either how they were raised. It's what they know or something happened to them and they've kind of like lost their way or maybe they act this way, but then they, you know, at the end of the day when they're in bed, they they're like, man, I really shouldn't have done that. Like they, they, there's a lot of people who like will act out and then they feel bad afterwards. And you know, I'm not, I'm not justifying any of these actions, but it's like, you have to realize that these are people too. As much as it is weird to say, I, I look at these people and I genuinely would like to, you know, maybe talk about their experiences, kind of like what we're talking about. Cause you know, it's, I don't think it's, I don't think anybody really truly hates or I don't think anybody truly enjoys hurting others, you know? So it's like, you know, I don't know. It's, it's definitely more complicated. So I think you should give them the benefit of the doubt. And you, like, I don't want to spread hate to people like this because that's just going to make it worse, right? That's just going to feed into oh, totally. what caused it in the first place. Um, like, it, it's weird because you know, it's like, bro, I've I've seen Karens out out there, right? Karens are like trolls in their own way, but like, it's the same thing, right? When you see people out there and you're like, how the heck does this person exist? Like, there something ha something must have happened to them, you know, uh, that made them that way. So. Just keep that in mind. Uh, everybody is a human being, and so just, yeah, not not trying to spread any any of that around. Um, but anyone, everyone's welcome here uh, to listen to the podcast. We're not trying to exclude anybody either. Um, so for sure, that's and my two cents. One of the things, I guess, I should clarify because maybe I uh, miss uh, miss expressed kind of what I'm trying to express. The reason why I want to have a dialogue with someone like that is not necessarily to for spectacle or grandeur or anything. It really most sincerely is because I just personally want that kind of hurting to stop. That kind of trolling to, to stop. I don't like it. I don't want it in communities. I wish that this person could have as much joy out of this experience as the next person we're all in this life together and it's tough it's yeah. a hard life and it's very hard for some people yeah. and i just wish that i could get uh because i have never had super trolly tendencies or really reason, reasons to want to troll it's hard for me to put myself in that perspective and so i just would want to really sincerely have a conversation with these kind of people and and see what we could do to either help them heal or help them understand right right and again here. i'm not i'm not trying to say like because you know some of these people do fall into that camp of like you know they they've been through trauma or whatever but uh and it's not like it, again I, i'm not i'm not trying to put labels on people um it's it's complicated it's like really complicated and a lot of people that act this way they might not realize what they're doing right like what i said earlier like to them they're like oh it, there's nothing wrong with it um, you know, like, but it's also like, I, I, I'm not trying to say that everyone's like this hurt person. I'm so sorry for you. Come, you know, we need, we need to fix you or, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's definitely a problem that I, I don't, it's way bigger than I think we can like. Than, than humanity can handle and it's it's also a very i think it's a very human thing too uh because i i it's, it's like i'm not impervious to this kind of thing either i uh i feel like i've definitely done and said some things in my life without being aware of what they did to the people around me you know and i've had to like apologize or you know um so not necessarily in gaming so it's just i don't know humans are interesting they're, they're very very interesting well, with that, I do think it is time that we should catch our train. But this has been a very intriguing topic. Yeah. Dude, I can only list door for so much longer. You gotta get in here. 
Okay, okay, I'm coming. Let's get let's get it started. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>